Welcome to Contract 101. Today's topic, duty limits. For a typical duty day, flight attendants will not be scheduled for a duty period of more than 14 hours, unless the duty period flights are augmented with additional flight attendants over FAA minimum staffing, as well as an extended rest provided. Every seven days, flight attendants must be given a 24-hour duty-free period. For example, if your scheduled duty period is 14 hours or less, that makes your prescribed rest period 9 hours, but it may be reduced to no less than 8 hours. If your rest period becomes reduced, your next rest period must be at least 10 hours. The maximum duty limitation for trips between the 48 continental United States and Mexico, the Caribbean, Canada, Central America, and Alaska, or for domestic trips wholly within the continental U.S., will be 14 hours scheduled and up to 16 hours actual. For all other trips, the maximum limitations will be 16 hours scheduled and 17 hours 30 minutes actual except in the case of a non-stop flight scheduled over 12 hours. On a non-stop flight scheduled over 12 hours, flight attendants may be scheduled to a maximum of the combination of check-in time, scheduled flight time, and debriefing time. Actual duty time may exceed scheduled duty time by 3 hours and 30 minutes. Under no circumstances shall a flight attendant be required to remain on duty over 19 hours. In the case of an irregular operation, flight attendants may be required to exceed these duty limitations to deadhead for required rest. The deadhead must begin before the end of the actual duty limitation. For more information, refer to the Bid Package Inserts section of your base's bid package and Contract Section 5B7 for information on actual duty limitations. Stay up to date by visiting calafa.org.